Be wary of victims who play your heart to pity them. Understand when people are hurt and they're wounded when they're growing up, they oftentimes haven't forgiven those who have hurt them and wounded them, which gives access to demonic spirits to torment their thoughts and cause them to behave in ways to take advantage of other people. You know, there's demonic spirits that are in play here because of the uh, inability to forgive those who've hurt them, and oftentimes they have pride and they have uh, unforgiveness as well, of course, that play into that, and that would allow demonic spirits to torment them. And what they'll do is they'll try to play other people who have good hearts, mercy hearts, in order to get them to feel sorry for them and to pity them and then to do things for them. So they'll take advantage of good-hearted people. And there's people in the church, you know, everywhere that have not been healed of their wounds, not been delivered of those demonic spirits, and they'll play people. You know, oftentimes it's for money. Oftentimes it's for what they can get out of them, what they can do for them. And so you have to be very careful, especially those that are in leadership positions that maybe would want to be your mentor, is they will try to share all the bad things that happened to them to get you to feel sorry for them. And then little by little, they'll try to earn that trust in you and then to take you over and to try to make you do what they want, to control you, to manipulate you. That's the spirit of Jezebel oftentimes that will come upon those people who have been hurt, who have been wounded, who are not delivered yet. And uh, they can ruin your life. They can ruin your reputation. They try to get as many people as possible to feel sorry for them and have horrible stories. Again, I've delivered, again, thousands of people around the world that have been hurt and wounded. Uh, and many of them have operated in that spirit called Jezebel. And they're in the church and they want to get into leadership. They want to tell people what to do. They oftentimes are puffed up with pride. So it's imperative that you got to be aware and be leery of people that have been hurt and wounded. If they're not healed, they will actually try to come against you. They'll try to get you to feel sorry for them. And if you don't do what they want, then they may lie about you, try to ruin your reputation with as many people that will listen. So it's so imperative that they get healed and delivered. They're going to have a book called Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons. It's helping thousands around the world to get healed of those wounds and get delivered so they can actually have the fruit of the spirit and be healthy, godly people. You can get that book on Amazon at paperback, Kindle, and Audible. Also, I do personal sessions with people. And you can go out to my website, RestoredToFreedom.com, and click on Contact Me. And you can uh, put your information in there, and we'll, we will contact you and get an appointment scheduled. So, all right. Thanks so much. See ya. Bye-bye.